Hey, good morning everybody. Bob KK4DIV coming to you from Kinsall Park on a kind of cloudy and dreary, overcast, windy kind of January Saturday morning here in uh, Panama City. Uh, we've got Winter Field Day coming up next weekend and uh, for 2019. And today, uh, myself and Greg and a couple other guys, we're going to do kind of a, an antenna trial run. Uh, just to kind of see uh, how things work and uh, what we're going to do for winter field day and kind of finalize our plans. Uh, but as you can see here in the back of the truck, I have uh, my gear packed up. I got the radio antenna, that's the WA4 uh, wind camp antenna. I got the military poles, uh, the radio is my uh, uh, FT891 uh, uh, battery, uh, new solar panel and charge controller and all that. Probably not going to get much solar today, but I just kind of wanted to bring it along and show everybody uh, what I'm going to be using. Got the uh, the portable pop-up canopy in there. Probably not going to set that up, uh, but I was just kind of getting everything in the truck and uh, kind of getting ready for next weekend. So, uh, all right, guys, stick around and uh, maybe y'all can see what we're planning for Winter Field Day. Alright, what we have here is the, uh, this is the BioNO 120 watt solar panel, uh, foldable, and we're kind of running that today. Don't know if we're going to get much solar, but we're just kind of running it as a test to see what it looks like with, uh, with overcast skies, see what we're going to be making here. So there's the uh, solar car charge controller, it's the uh, MPT, MPPT20, uh, it's a 20 amp solar controller. And I don't know if you can read that on there, probably not, but we're getting about 1.21 amps of solar and uh, battery is at 13.81 volts right now. So uh, the battery is good and charged. Um, that solar controller will just kind of keep it topped off. And uh, we're just wanting to see how much uh, solar we're going to be producing today. There is the Windcamp WA4 antenna on those military fiberglass poles. Got it in an inverted V formation right there. And that's one of the uh, antennas we'll be using for winter field day. We got the solar panel set up. Got the station set up here. It's real simple. Got a little laptop running PSK31 uh, through FL Digi. Got the FT891. Got the uh, solar charge controller there, battery, all that stuff, and we're using the uh, signal link USB to interface to the computer. Right now we're uh, at 1.87, 1.88 uh, amps uh, of solar coming in. We got 14.23 volts, so we're uh, we're pulling some solar in even on this cloudy day. What I'm figuring is this ought to be enough solar to replenish the battery as we use it, even on a cloudy day. So that's the plan. We've got Susie and Greg and Phil over there chilling out. Well, for field day, it would probably be a safety. You could you could show it to your safety officer and say, <laughs> "This is our lightning protection." Well, this. You know, the manufacturer recommended this, so yeah. that's, that's why I'm doing it. Of course, today there probably really is some. Yeah. All right, Greg is going to be running an in-fed antenna. Got his military poles up and his kite poles. Are you running it this way here? We'll see what this thing looks like when it's all set up here in just a moment. All right, here's Greg's in-fed antenna. Said so that's no tuner required, Greg? Yes. All right. Amazing. And what bands? Uh, 80 through 10. 80 through 10. Everything. 
No tuner required. Well, uh, it, not 60 meters. Well, not 60. Okay. All right. <laughs> 80 through 10, not 60. Right. All right. Well, that's really cool. I like it. Well, Greg just uh, logged a contact with a KK1 TLS uh, parks on the air station using this uh, setup, ICOM 7300. It'd be a good uh, good winter field day setup for Greg. <laughs> I think it could be. N4KGL, N4KGL is in there. Hello, hello. All right, this is N4KGL Portable uh, near uh, Lynn Haven, Florida. And uh, uh, good to hear you. Are you on your tricycle? No, not on the tricycle today, just running 100 watts at home. Actually, I would be stronger on the tricycle with my amplifier. Hi, <laughs> uh, what's the name there? It's Bud here, Bravo United Delta. All right, Bud, the name here is Greg it's Golf, good. Romeo Echo Golf. Uh, we like to do radar, QRP, and field days. Uh, in fact, we're getting ready for winter field day. Back to you, Bud. Okay, great. Yeah, winter field day is coming up. You should be doing winter field day, what, that next weekend? When is that? Uh, it's next Saturday uh, for 24 hours. Okay, yeah, and Sunday. next Saturday is winter field day. You know what, Greg, I'm going to take my uh, tricycle out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my tricycle out and, um, and see what I can do on winter field day. That'll be kind of fun. We're going to have some great weather next weekend, they say. N4KGL is in Florida. It's a nice signal. He's portable. That's Greg, W3 Fox Fox here in California. Thanks, Greg. All right, thanks. Uh, we'll be uh, camping and uh, operating, and our call sign will be November 4 Yankee. November 4 Yankee. Hope to work you then. Bye-bye, bud. Yeah, we'll, we'll look for you. November 4 Yankee, Greg. I'll look for you. And my antenna the tricycle is pretty darn good, so I'll bet we work on winter field day. But I'll watch for November 4 Yankee. A great call. Somebody else was in there. Somebody asked us if even though it was a little bit cool, a little bit gray and overcast, a little bit of drizzle and rain and a whole lot of wind, it was still a great day out there at the park. You know, any day you can get out in nature, and especially any day you can get outdoors and play a little ham radio in my books is a fantastic day. It was also nice seeing all the guys and getting everybody together talking about winter field day. We were able to set up a couple of stations and set up our antennas. We even logged a couple of contacts. So I'd like to thank everybody for tagging along today and tuning into my channel and watching my video. If you're a ham radio operator, I certainly hope to catch you on down the log and I hope to catch you in a future video as well. 73 everybody, this is Bob, KK4DIV. Until next time, bye-bye.